tried to escape him to the south. But then some robbers started chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk ain't men. You ain't nothing. You just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. The Wild West. A lifestyle that most people romanticize as being exciting and exhilarating. However, the reality of this time period during the United States was uncannily cruel and revolting. Out of all of the video games about America's Old West, Red Dead Redemption comes around the top. To no surprise either, Red Dead Redemption, with all of the vulgarity and malevolent demonstrations of things, is one of the truest depictions of the Wild West. Which is why the video game is highly regarded as a great cultural piece of entertainment. The video game itself does not shy away from the good and bad things about being a cowboy. Instead, as a player, you embrace the very fabrication of being a gunslinger during the early 1900s of the United States. You ain't leaving here alive. Red Dead Redemption is an action-adventure video game published by Rockstar Games that released on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 in 2010. You play as John Marston, a former outlaw who was on a mission by the Bureau of Investigation to eliminate his former gang members. The Bureau of Investigation is holding John's family captive and will return them once he has killed the last gang member. Thus begins a grueling and savage experience as John Marston hunts his former gang members for the sake of his future. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, Great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country... Rockstar Games is a company known across the globe for their one exclusive franchise, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto was a franchise that I frowned upon growing up because of the malicious content of being a criminal in modern societies. In a way, I still harbor negative feelings towards the franchise. I actually do not find criminal activity all that fun or intriguing. When I saw Red Dead Redemption as a published title from Rockstar Games, I immediately turned a blind eye towards the video game. I made a stereotypical assumption that the video game was another Grand Theft Auto game, but with a Wild West setting. My two good friends, on the other hand, both played Red Dead Redemption and made claims about how great the video game was overall. While I acknowledged their opinions, the praise was not enough to convince me to play the game myself. In 2018, I was sitting in front of my video gaming setup, thumbing through the sales that were available on the online gaming store. Red Dead Redemption was among the listings that was being offered for $11. I remember glancing at the photos and reading the synopsis carefully. On a whim and impulse, I decided for $11, why not? Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williams!
Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you! Nobody Playing Red Dead Redemption for the first time was kind of a weird experience. I was attempting to come to terms of whether the video game was good or not. Fundamentally, I was experiencing something that I thought was different from what I usually play. But there was this underlying feeling that did not instill the thought that this video game was great. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, 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 so I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. If, but my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. However, that all changed when the Mexico arc began. The chosen song, Far Away, by Jose Gonzalez, changed everything. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a back ugly man, but not a bad one. <laughs> of a single, well-placed song opened my mind about Red Dead Redemption. I started to appreciate the serenity and somber tone that this video game was trying to portray. There was much more about Red Dead Redemption that I was ignoring overall. I decided that I would take Red Dead Redemption a bit more seriously and focus on the qualities the game offers. As I continued to play, I began to really enjoy John Marston as a character. I believe that John Marston is a fantastic protagonist. He is not intelligent. <laughs> he just has years of experience handling situations and people, which makes him very likable across the board for each story segment. Brazen when necessary, kind in others. A true mark of a well-designed protagonist. The unique individual qualities began to add up thereafter as I started to take mental notes of things. The random encounters with renegades on the country roads, to the greetings with people in towns. The game became an immersive experience. However, there was one thing that could not be overlooked and was the biggest reason why Red Dead Redemption did not make my list of top video games of all time. The combat gameplay. The combat within Red Dead Redemption is, in layman's terms, boring. The tension of lining up shots and making precision kills is substituted with a very simple lock-on mechanic. 
Simply tapping and holding the aim button causes your gun to snap instantly to a target. Then pressing the shoot button allows you to make a well placed shot instantly without issue, killing the target in seconds. Oddly enough, even if a target is behind cover, your aiming mechanic still locks on to a target. The overall structure of combat is simplistic and not overly complicated, which causes each scenario to become repetitive. Aim, shoot. Aim, shoot. Aim, shoot. Aim, shoot. Aim, shoot. Aim, shoot. One minor issue that I have is how stiff the controls are when moving John Marston. Whether on horseback or walking on the ground, John can make some really dumb mistakes that cause frustration. Whether the gameplay was intentionally meant to be this stiff or not, sometimes you need fluid motion to achieve results. Speaking about movement, another minor reason I have is how all of the men in the game walk the same. John, as well as every other guy, have the exact same walk animation cycle. I felt that this was a bit lazy and immersive breaking at times. Should there not be more than one way to walk? One last minor reason is how quickly you find yourself in sticky situations that can just kill you instantly. For example, I was riding towards the next town when a woman by the side of the road stopped me for help. Then a gang of bandits stormed into the scene and blasted me to smithereens. While combat is certainly boring, being unable to defend yourself in a split second raid is genuinely unfair. The unexpected nonces of death should be a charm factor to the gameplay, not a random encounter of instant frustration. Red Dead Redemption, even with the lackluster combat gameplay, managed to win me over as a great video game. Especially a video game about the Wild West. I was actually glad I bought this game on sale and made an absolute steal of a purchase. Rockstar Games does create some real nasty content in their video games, but undoubtedly Red Dead Redemption is a title worthy of such committed entertainment. The Wild West was not a picturesque time period of beauty. There were the atrocities that people performed because they had the power to do so. I respect Red Dead Redemption as a video game that tells a compelling depiction of the United States in the early 1900s. I also respect the story that Rockstar Games put together to portray an interesting and likable protagonist. The Wild West would not feel as open to me without John Marston leading the way. I am glad that I made a whimsical purchase of Red Dead Redemption. In truth, I have only played this video game a handful of times. The video game itself has made a lasting impression on me. As I continue forward, I hope to find another Wild West video game that matches the quality of what Rockstar Games put together. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I'm sorry. Oh, what did you just call me? <laughs> Let's settle this then.
He won't be back for Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah, jeez, another one. Nice try. Oh, what's this? You guys playing poker? Oh, I'll have a hand. Don't be saying that. Don't see why not. Okay, I'm gonna check. Oh, okay. All right. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna check in. Okay, let's put in more. All right, I'll call. Okay, well, honestly, what do you guys have? I have kings and jacks. Are, are you kidding me? You put in that? I'll take that. <laughs> oh! Oh, bank, dude! <laughs> Get out of here! All right, just you and me, bud. Let's put it all in. We're going for it. This is for the marbles. Let's put it all in. 91, here we go. Pair of queens. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I just made $50. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video and episode, please feel free to check out the Pondersort channel for more episodes. Our Etsy store has expanded inventory with exclusive socks. Along with the Pondersort mug, you can now update your wardrobe with Pondersort apparel. Come check out our store via a link provided in the description below. Once again, thank you for all that have supported this community. I'm your host, Richard Dahm, and this is Pondersort Words with a Roar. Take care.